So remember we were talking about the sequel to The Joker? Yes. Have you heard about it now, the yeah, updates? It's a musical. I love musicals. Love them, love them with all of my heart. What do you think about the Joker sequel going musical? I'm sure the director uh, has a vision for it, so I'll let that vision play out. It's not a, It doesn't bother me. And also, I'm pretty sure what they're going to... Because obviously, the first one was um, obviously based off of Martin Scorsese's... Um, what is, what, what, taxi Driver. Taxi Driver. Yeah. It was a combination of like King of Comedy and Taxi Driver. They're saying this one's going to be New York, New York. Martin Scorsese's New York, New York, which is a musical with... Um, Robert De Niro and um, who's in that one? Who's in New York, New York? Um, Liza Minnelli. He, Liza Minnelli. So they're saying this might be like a an ode to that one kind of thing. I don't know. I'll let it play out. If it sucks, it sucks. I don't care. Do something different. I, I don't care. You have strong feelings, I, I feel, though. Nah. <laughs> Josh! Welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more oh. juicy content. Thanks on Patreon for subscribing. Subscribe to them. Honestly, I, I would have been fine if they would have just left it alone and, and not done a sequel. But no. Obviously, a uh, uh, when a studio sees a film made a billion dollars, it's just never going to happen to just have I, it's just, Yeah, it's just, it's <laughs> like, I... I would have been fine with it. I had it. hoped when we saw Joker that DC was going to understand why it was loved so much and... Maybe the second uh, one will be good. We'll wait and see. An Oscar was won, but the idea of suddenly turning it into a musical Well, that's is, not, uh, it's not actually totally out of the uh, norm for, for Batman. Deadpool could be a musical. Yeah, but we'll see. I'm not the director, so he obviously has a vision. Anyways, today we have a new trailer for a new film of a ghost of ours. Pankaj. Pankaj. Ah! Uh, different one than the old one we, we just watched. Okay. Uh, this is called Lali. Lali? Lali. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, Pankaj Tripti. Uh, it's coming out at Disney Hotstar. Uh, I actually reached out to our dost, uh, and I was like, oh, a new trailer, because I, I, didn't, I didn't see the poster. He's like, it's a 39-minute feature. That's not plausible. Whatever. It's a 39-minute film. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, and he says it's... Uh, about a lonely washer and a laundry man and a red gown. Film opens with a nine-minute single take that wasn't planned. It's a, more of a symbolic film. Okay, cool. That's what he says. So that is all I know. I love it. Uh, and also, apparently, the ch almost two-minute trailer does not have dialogue. Our lovely uh, subber, Himanshu, said there is audio that it would have been nice to have subs for, so he did sub in the, the background. audio. Cool. Because it, it, it went along. So thank you so much the best to of the uh, best, man. Himanshu. So let's just get into this one. Obviously, always down to watch Pankaj, of Ardosh, and I, Tripathi. I love the fact that this is 39 minutes. Yeah. Because it's like, it's too long to be a short film, it's too short to be a full-length feature, and we don't care because we had a vision and we made it, and it's artistic expression, so here well, it is. how long was the, the um, our, our, our Bondu, um, Swastika? That was a short film, though. I know, how long? It's yeah. about 39 minutes. I, I, don't, I don't think it was that long. I think it was more like, I think it was, I think it was less than that. Oh, I, think I could was, be wrong, but I think it was, it was less than that. Anyways. I don't know, 45? You I think, think so? so. Anyways, here we go. Hold on. Audio doesn't look like it took. Stupid, stinking audio. And here we go. Ah! Nice.
Why is it the simplest trailers always get me the most? <laughs> Obviously, there's there's big trailers like RRRs and KGF's style of films that of get you excited. But I feel like The Lighthouse was very similar to, like, it was just, a, I, it was the Watt, right? They did the Watt, mm-hmm. Watt, yeah, Watt. The majority Watt. of that was just the Watt moment. It gets me so excited. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know this is just a 39-minute film, but they just get me, I just get so pumped because he, It's because it's, that's, that's the thing that we love the most. Yeah. We is, it's thespianatic. It's acting. It's filmmaking at an elevative level. It is the it is, in our humble opinion, the the most beautiful mm. expression of the art form in its most expressive and designed format of its creative capacity is to see things that put a mirror up to and a window looking through the human experience so i I, that just that was a human being in the moment i want to know everything he's thinking and what's going on so much and he didn't say a word of course he expressed so many different things because he's a great actor and he's just he's a great actor he and it's it's obviously he the height of his popularity is now, right? He, he's never he's never been he's more never popular. been more popular. Obviously, he's, he's and, on and, the incline and and all this kind of stuff that yep. he's just obviously he's been popular for a while. But oh yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he is at the peak no. currently. Yes, um, I mean, not the peak peak, but he is at the most popular Peaking. he's ever been. Right on the moving up, and so he could do so many things, and I'm sure he is obviously to to try to capitalize on that stardom, sure. the financial, and I'm sure he isn't in some Works aspects. A lot. He, he's got to do that. Yep, but he also does little films like this that I'm sure almost no one's going to hear about. He he's I, I'm pretty sure he follows the pattern, and I, I think the pattern was set by obviously several people, but I think the person who was at the tip of the spear was uh, Nasir. 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 Yeah, Nasir. Nasir was the one who made it really clear that I'm going to make the movies that pay the bills, and I'm going to enjoy doing those, but... I'm doing parallel cinema because that's where my heart as an artist is. My my, if I'm not on stage, I want to be doing stuff that's parallel cinema, and and is artistically satisfying for me as an actor as a whole in the storytelling. And it's it's just it's why I I so love anything. That's why you see on a trailer all of those seals of approval and awards won at film festivals, because <coughs> excuse me, the film festivals are the places where the highest level of artistry is being celebrated. It's not about what movies are going to make the most money as much as it's about what films are going to send the most powerful messages. And I I cannot wait to see this. It's going to be magnificent, I can tell already. Okay. And is it just him? It looks it looks like there's it's a news reporter uh actress is like only there's only one other person with a photo. And it looks it. like they're real quick appearances. Uh and it's directed by uh, and written and directed by Abarup Basu. I don't do you know him? Oh, you okay. She's Okay, gotcha. Um a laundry laundry man from the suburbs of Kolkata finds a companionship in an unclaimed red dress yeah. which triggers existential memories from the past. Oh. That was made very clear. When he was laying in bed with the dress, and it's the it's the beauty of film, and why great writing says so little. And exposition should always be shown, not told. In cinema, you have to tell exposition a lot of times in theater, and you're going to get a lot of that in Shakespeare. I mean, constant, constant exposition because so much of it has to be formatted for you through the spoken word because you don't have the same visuals that you do in film. Yeah, and that was so evident that moment of him laying in bed with the red dress. Not just because he was laying in bed with the red dress, but the way he was laying in bed with the red dress. My hope is that we get... Um, I, I would even love if this is a fully silent film. Oh, my goodness, of course. Kind of like... Uh, what was that? the film you loved? Um, oh, The Artist. No, 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 no. That's the, a fully silent film. the one film. in Kolkata, the, the, the Bengali oh, one. Oh, of course. What was it That called? one. What um, was it called? Oh, crap. Hey, sweetie, what's the the two-person film, and it's silent, and it's the they they... They're married, but one works during the day and one works during the night. And we love. <laughs> what is it said. in English? Because I remember, I remember the English title. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Of course. So something like that, and I'm hoping like we don't get like flashbacks 
or I mean, obviously that it could work, but I'm hoping like you just see him remembering. Yeah. And like, you don't know what he's actually remembering. Right. But he's showing you yes. what he's doing. Yes. And he's telling you the story. I would love that. I would love it so much. So I'm assuming this is going to be a streaming thing. Obviously, you're not going to give this a theatrical release. I think it was on. Hold on. I think Amazon was the one with the trailer. Or was it Disney Hotstar? Hotstar. Okay. Yeah, it was Disney Hotstar. Awesome. So it'll be on so Disney. It'll be streaming on Disney Hotstar. June seventeenth. Awesome. Which is, awesome. What, awesome. Friday. That's yes. That's in five days. Five days. That's in like three days. Well, okay. Kolkata. Tugs at your heartstrings. Thank you. I'm so thankful that Disney and whoever else didn't give anything away in the description. They've just said it's a guy in Calcutta, laundry. Remember stuff about it. Remember stuff. Yeah, it's going to be so good because obviously I'd love the premise anyway, but the fact that you have somebody like Bunkaj who has uh, one of the best actors acting alive today, in my opinion. Agreed. uh, in general. Agree. Everywhere. <laughs> um, and the fact that he's so versatile, like a Robin Williams, yeah. in terms of he can do comedy, he can be the most menacing person you've ever seen in your life, and he all, can also be the sweetest mm-hmm. man and like the most like meek looking, yeah. which is incredible. It is. <laughs> the and fact I, that he can and be I'm, that versatile. I'm very intrigued as to whose choice it was and why. If it's revealed in the story and the script, or it's not revealed at all, it's simply what came out of the creation of this character. I would really love to know what the mole's all about in the in the nose it there. Hap- it showed up halfway, didn't it? I, I don't know. I, I I just I just noticed it, and I don't know if it is a. Oh no, it's there. Yeah, okay, I just I, I thought and it was that's a shadow. One of, trust me, that's knowing this man. I promise you, that's not there without great intentionality. That that's not a that's not a gimmick to just this guy's gonna have a mole. Although you can do that and it work if you embody that as a real thing. You just could have an intuition of this guy's got a mole, but I suspect there's great intentionality behind that. I'm very, very excited. Yeah. So we get two Pankash things this month. Yep. How exciting. Um, anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer and what, uh, what should be the, obviously besides these two new ones, what should be the next, uh, Pankaj or Dost Tripathi, uh, film we should watch. Official middle name of him, by the way. It's true. He, he changed it to, it's true. uh, OSR's Dost. Yeah. Um, and we appreciate that. PDT. <laughs> PDT. <laughs> anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer, which should be the next Pankaj Tripathi film we should watch down below. Dost!